Well, thanks for staying with us here at Midday. We are taking your questions for veterinarian David Graff, and we've got a little uh, kitty cat here yeah. up for adoption. Uh, her name is Magic, and she's at the Cedar Rapids Animal Shelter. She's about a year old, and she has been spayed. Okay, so she's ready to go. For Available for adoption. Yeah, and she's uh, very curious. She's like, what is all over this studio? I'm going to go get it. Um, we have Emma on the phone uh, with a question about her dog. Go ahead, Emma. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm told that we do not have her, but the um, question is oh, about oh. Um, a beagle with skin problems, lots of itching going on. Okay. Um, are, what are some remedies? They've tried a lot of different things. Okay, Emma called in and she asked her eight-year-old beagle has been um, to the doctor apparently several times, and what can make an eight-year-old beagle itchy? Well, there's a very long list. Okay. <laughs> very long. The top of the list is fleas, and sometimes fleas can be very difficult to diagnose, especially this time of year. But we do see a lot of fleas this time of year. Really? Absolutely. Well, I guess it's been so warm this well, year, too. In, until we get about two feet of snow, you're going to see a lot of fleas. Okay. Uh, and then allergic skin disease, allergies to pollens, grasses, things in the environment, allergies to food. These are all things that can make your dog scratch. Uh, skin infection. Uh, which includes bacteria, a fungus, uh, yeast. These things can make a dog itchy. So, there's, so you're right. The there, list is really the, long. There, there is a dermatology in, um, ex expert, um, a professional veterinary dermatologist in Cedar Rapids. Okay. If you're having problems and you haven't got that problem solved, it'd probably be a good, be a good advice to go see the veterinary dermatologist. Okay. Uh, we do have Chrissy on the phone with a question from Cedar Falls. Go ahead, Chrissy. Yes, hi. I was calling in regard to... Uh, life expectancies on Cushing disease that's advanced on medium to small dogs that have not been caught for like five years by their veterinarian and how expensive are we looking at what kind of tests that or things that we might have to put the dog on to help him extend his life good question mm -hmm. uh, Cushing's syndrome is a disease in which the pituitary gland produces too much hormone that makes the adrenal glands produce too much cortisone okay, okay. it's actually quite common um, it Usually the owner sees increased drinking and increased urinating as the first signs. Okay. It can also cause hair loss, pot-bellied appearance, uh, thin skin, and chronic skin problems. Uh, actually, Cushing's syndrome does not decrease your dog's life expectancy. However, it does increase your dog's quality of life because they'll have chronic skin problems, mm -hmm. their body will have, undergo changes, they'll have chronic elevated levels of cortisone, and it is better to treat Cushing's syndrome than to not treat Cushing's syndrome. Right. Probably not a lot of harm by going several years without treatment, uh, but it is better to be treated. Um, there are pills that can be taken. It is fairly expensive because it requires monitoring. You, ne you need monitoring tests to diagnose it, and then after your, your dog is on medicine, you need monitoring tests to um, make sure that the right dose is being given. Okay. So it's not an inexpensive right. condition to treat, though it is better to treat than to not treat, even though it's not a fatal condition. Treatable disease. So, uh, yes. David Graff, thanks for coming in today. And she is available, Magic, at the Magic. Cedar Rapids Animal Shelter. So thank you for coming in. And then tomorrow we're going to talk more about holiday recycling, what to do with that old wrapping paper. Stay with your 24-hour news source, KCRG TV 9.